Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another fall DIY. This one is definitely my favorite so far, but I will link all of my other fall 2018 DIYs in the description box below. And the inspiration from this piece came from a gorgeous wreath that I saw at Big Lots, which I am going to insert a picture of here. The original piece is absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, it is sold out in my store and online, so my last resort was to DIY this, and that's okay because I actually had almost every single thing on hand, and you can make this out of 100% Dollar Tree items if you want. I did pick up one item from Walmart, but that's completely optional, and if you don't have any of this on hand, you will still spend about half the cost of the original. And the silver lining to DIYing this ourselves is that we get to customize it to our own style, I did wish the original had a little bit more color, so I made sure to add color into my version. To do this project, you will need a wreath. I picked up mine at Dollar Tree. This is the smallest size, but there are larger size if you want to make a larger scale piece. You will also need four matching picture frames. I actually bought these a while ago to make a lantern and never got around to it, but I did recently check my Dollar Tree and these are still available. You will also need your choice of florals. All of these are from this fall at Dollar Tree. This is the one piece that I picked up from Walmart. It is this eucalyptus stem and it was $3. This is completely optional, but the inspiration piece does have a lot of this and Dollar Tree doesn't carry it. So Walmart has it, so does Hobby Lobby and Michaels and it really makes the piece look a little bit more expensive in my opinion and i actually only used a couple clippings of this and the rest will be used in other areas of my fall decor you will also need your choice of ribbon this burlap is from dollar tree aside from hot glue and your scissors the only other thing that you need and this is actually optional is this metal word i did get this at dollar tree in a three pack with two other words that i have already used in other diys so i already had this on hand so the first thing you need to do is remove the glass and the backing from your picture frame we aren't going to use the glass otherwise this piece will be really heavy so now I'm taking my hot glue gun and I am just going to glue the sides of these that are going to be touching together to create a window pane effect. I'm just using hot glue, but if you want this to be extra sturdy, I would use E6000 or a super glue gel. So you're going to glue the bottom two together, the top two together, and then the top to the bottom. It's very, very simple. So now I am moving on to my wreath and what I like to do when creating a wreath that uses different kinds of florals is to start with just one kind, clip an even amount of pieces and position them on either side of the wreath to get a symmetrical look. So you can see here I have one on the right side and one on the left side and once I have them in the position that I want them, then I will glue them down. And it's important to kind of lay them out first so you know you have them exactly where you want them. And once they're glued down, you can move on to your next kind of floral or embellishment. The next thing that I will do is add pumpkins and I will evenly distribute that on my wreath with one in the center and two on the sides, even distances apart. And then I'll move on to my next floral or embellishment so on and so forth. So basically just if you glue something on one side, glue it on the other and make sure you're laying them out first to make sure you like where they're positioned before making them permanent with glue. And that's really all there is to creating a wreath, you guys. It's so super simple and completely 100% up to whatever you want to do and whatever you feel like using. So I hope you enjoy watching me make this wreath. I am going to speed it up and probably cut some parts out because this did take me roughly 15 to 20 minutes to do so i don't want to bore you to death but i will stop and show you everything i'm using Here
Here I'm showing you the two kinds of cotton stems that are offered at Dollar Tree. I ended up using the larger cotton stem just because I already had some pieces clipped from a different DIY that I did. So you can look for either one of those at your Dollar Tree or none at all. And of course, they are carried at all of the craft stores and even Walmart now. Lipta stem actually did come from Dollar Tree and the color is beautiful for fall. I picked up quite a few of those this year to use in my fall decor so I already had that on hand and it's perfect for this DIY since I did want to add some color. These next little pieces are some leftover florals that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I used quite a few of those in my spring decor and those were just the little scraps that were left over so I added them into this wreath. You may be able to find them still at Dollar Tree if you're lucky, but if not, they really don't play that big of a role. And you can get something like this for super cheap at Hobby Lobby or Joann's or Michael's or any of the craft stores. They're just some fuzzy little pieces of greenery. So now I think I have my wreath the way I want it, so I went ahead and created a bow. If you want to see a tutorial on how I make my bows, I will link um, my tutorial in the description box below. I made that video last Christmas, so I'm just gluing that down in the center at the top. You really don't have to do this, but I thought it looked really cute. And again, that's just the Dollar Tree burlap. I've used it in so many DIYs now. It is my favorite and I just love it. So now I'm just gonna glue down this thankful. I put some hot glue on the last couple letters and the first couple letters, and then I just laid it center across the wreath. The glue just caught on to some of the florals and it dried in place, and there's not a whole lot of method to the madness, but it worked out as you will see in just a second here, and it looks super cute. The last step is to glue your wreath down onto your window pane. I'm just putting glue at the top and the bottom underneath the bow and underneath the center pumpkin and pressing that down directly onto the window pane. Let it sit there for a while so the glue gets a chance to dry. If your wreath feels like it's heavy, use a better glue like E6000 or the Fix All Adhesive Super Glue Gel from Dollar Tree. And that's all you have to do to create this piece. Once the glue dries, it is done. You can add a ribbon on top to hang it as um, like a wreath on your door, but I'm just gonna use this as a countertop piece and I absolutely love this. This DIY could not have turned out any more perfect. It's exactly what I envisioned it to be and I can't believe I was able to accomplish this using all Dollar Tree supplies and one thing from Walmart. So if you enjoyed this DIY, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more DIYs and fall videos to come. If you decide to recreate this, I would love if you would tag me on Instagram or DM me a photo or even shoot me an email. I love to see when you guys remake my DIYs and I hope to see you guys back in a future video. Bye.